Okay, so let's suppose I give you a sequence that looks like this. So let's suppose my sequence is equal to, hmm, let's try three, six, nine, and 12. So first of all, first of all, could you describe what this sequence looks like in terms of n? In other words, could you come up with an nth term? Could you come up with an nth term for this sequence? Just a rule that would get me any term in any particular position of this sequence. 3 to the power of n. 3 to the power of n? Mm. Well, 3 to the power of n would go 3, 9, 27. Very different, right? What do I mean here? 3 plus 3 minus 1. Sorry? Yeah, good. Just 3 times n, isn't it? It's just the 3 times table. So I could write this as 3n. All right. Now, here's my question. So this would be un. Un would just be 3n, if you like. Okay. Here's my question. Is this convergent? Is this divergent? Or is this periodic? Now, let's just pause for a second. Let's make sure that we're OK with what each, words, which each of these words mean. Okay. What do you think the word convergent means? Good, so it means it's getting smaller and smaller. Would it necessarily mean that always? No. What do you mean by getting smaller and smaller? So I mean it's approaching it's, zero? It's, increase, it's decreasing, but not uh, with uh, same or equally. Okay, so it's not necessarily decreasing equally. Okay, that's a good idea. Um, I just want to play on that idea of getting smaller. Mm -hmm. I mean, if a sequence is getting smaller, for example, a sequence like this, half, quarter, one eighth, one sixteenth, okay, that sequence is definitely getting smaller. Are you happy? Because with each term, I'm getting smaller and smaller and smaller, okay? That would definitely be convergent, okay? But not all sequences are necessarily getting smaller. In other words, they're not always approaching zero. All I'm looking for with convergence is that they just approach some value that is not really big. Okay? So they approach a value that is an infinity. Okay? But then again, infinity isn't really a number. It's a concept. Okay? So you just approach some particular number. All right, that's what convergent means, right? OK, so if that's convergent, what do you suppose divergent means? Increasing. Could also be decreasing in negative direction as well, mm. OK? But what it means is that it doesn't approach a particular value. In other words, it shoots off to infinity. It gets really big or really small, OK? So shoots off to infinity. Uh, it could also be negative infinity as well. So plus or minus infinity. It either gets really, really big or really, really small. Okay? Just shoots off to infinity. Plus or minus. So that's convergent. It approaches some particular value. That's divergent. It shoots off to plus or minus infinity. What's periodic? What do you think periodic means? A certain time. Sorry? A certain Time. Okay, so you're thinking period, like it happens within some particular time. With, with exact, uh, so could you give me an example of something that is periodic? Not necessarily in terms of sequence and series, but just in everyday language, how would you describe something which is periodic? Exactly. It's a clock, right? So let's suppose that that is my minute's hand and that is my hour's hand, okay? If you could imagine these are hands on a clock, so that's like 12, date also. 3, 6, and 9. Sorry, Sanjay? Date. A date, yeah, absolutely, I guess. If you're careful, you don't include the years. Yeah, good. So you're happy that hands on a clock, like think about the uh, minute's hand on a clock, you're happy it goes round the clock and then it comes back to this position again. And then the next hour it goes round the clock and it comes back to this position again. So in other words, it's doing the same thing over and over and over and over again. Okay, it's not really going anywhere, it's just doing the same thing over and over again. Okay. In fact, I can talk about a periodic function. 
okay, a periodic function would be something like this. Sorry? Go on, say it. Yeah, exactly. This is the graph y equals sine x. We've looked at this, yeah? It's periodic because it will just keep going up and down and up and down forever and ever and ever. Even in that direction, it's still going up and down, okay? So are you happy this would be a periodic function? This would be an example of something which is periodic, okay? So now then, could you define what does periodic actually mean? I guess a good way of describing it, it doesn't approach anything. It doesn't shoot off to infinity. It just goes over and over and over and over again, okay? So it repeats itself. Okay, it repeats itself. So convergent means it approaches some particular value. Divergent means it shoots off to plus or minus infinity. It gets really big or really small. Periodic just means it just goes over and over and over again, okay? So let's see if we can think about what this thing will do. So 3n, okay? Would this be convergent, divergent, or periodic? What do we reckon? Divergent. I would say it's divergent, yeah. How could we check? So how could we check that this thing gets, either shoots off to plus or minus infinity? How could we check? Why not? Let's just stick some values in and see what happens, okay? In fact, we've got the one, two, three, fourth, first four terms here. Let's keep going. So what would the next term be? 15. 15. And what would the next term be? 18. And what would the next term be? 21. Okay, and so on. So that would be 24, 27, okay? Are you happy that what's happening here is that it shoots off to plus, or minus, to plus infinity in this case? Yeah? Because this thing is getting really, really big. It's getting really, really big. In fact, let me just show you this on here. So what I have got here is effectively a graph, all right? So what's happening is along this axis, I am considering different terms in my sequence. So it might be like the first term, second term, third term. So what this axis represents is the position of the term which I am looking at. Is that okay? And then on this axis, it is what the value of the term is doing, okay? And what I can do is I can move this slider to consider bigger and bigger values in the sequence, okay? So, for example, the first term I would get by just moving the slider to the right, okay? And the second term and the third term, etc. Now, what you can see here is that as I consider more and more terms in my sequence, remember this is the sequence 3n, would you be happy? It's just shooting off in that direction. And in fact, it's a linear sequence because I should expect that, because the graph 3n should just be a straight line with a gradient of 3. Is that okay? So you can see that on here. Okay, good. So that would be an example of a divergent sequence. Okay?